Ryan, what are your thoughts on AI? Like AI. writing, animation, art, and like any, like anything. What are your thoughts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I, I told you I was into conspiracies and stuff. So I, I think that it is just another step, um, you know, towards our destruction and our kind of like diving into just like, you know, evilness and just like ugliness and, and all kinds of like crazy stuff that will happen. Right. I, I think that, you know, like most things, it's a tool and it could be used for good or for bad. Right. There's plenty of great uh, things that AI can be used for. Uh, with medicine and production and construction and making things safer for humans and more efficient and cool and gaming and all kinds of stuff, right? I, I think that it will be used for evil in one of the most extreme ways, and and it's going to be a, a dangerous way moving forward. Um, it's you know for for me it's kind of mixed because you know y'all know I'm a nerd. I love technology. I work in software development, so like like you know the whole concept of it is dope and cool. And I can't you know I I am looking forward to seeing some of the you know, more kind of like cool techie ways that it's used. But I just, you know, um, I see the world and, and how, you know, corrupted things can get. And it's it's kind of it's kind of scary, man. Like, you know, at, like like as much excitement and joy as I have for, you know, just like the development or or the furthering of of, of tech and technology and development, right? Um, I also see like the other side and and it's a scary thing. So we'll see, man. Um, you know, uh yeah, like I don't know, man. It's it's it's, it's gonna be crazy, it's yeah. wild ride. Gray, do you know who Natsune Miko is? No, Hatsune Miko. Hatsune Miko. Okay. Uh, I had a friend who really likes her. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. But yeah, I know who she is. <laughs> okay. uh, Ryan, do you know who that is? Mm -mm, nah. She so Hatsune Miko is a uh, 2D slash 3D avatar that is a singer. And people actually go to those concerts. And it's a very, very popular, like, anime-style uh, person. Let, let me actually bring it up so you know. Yeah, I, she kind of rose to prominence at the same time as My Little Pony. Okay. So it, imagine that, but an anime avatar girl instead of yep. ponies. It, it kind of it sounds like Miku. Oh, I didn't put that's Miku. That's Miku. I know her. Oh, she's dope. I like her. So um, the reason why I'm bringing this up Warner Brothers is like, we got to get on that shit. What do you mean? All right. So I want, I, I sort of do want to talk, uh, uh, talk about this. So her name is Noon Nori's Domino single debuts with Warner Music. I, I think Noon Nori, I think that's how you say it. Warner Music has made a history by signing a record deal with Noon Nori, the first AI virtual pop singer and Instagram influencer. Noon Nori is unlike any other artist as she exists solely as a digital entity on the internet. So this is not true since uh, Hatsune Miku is considered one as well. Um, to, to, if you think about it, every hollow live person is considered that because some of them actually sing. So uh, Ryan, you know what hollow live is? It, it sounds familiar, but... It's a, basically a bunch of um, VTubers. Okay. Like, uh, okay. And they're all anime. Uh, uh, Gray, are you okay. familiar with that? No. I thought you Hello told live. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. For all you weebs in the chat. For all you weeb weebs in the chat, this is Hollow Live. Okay. So each of these girls make millions of dollars a month. They all have a digital avatar where they're either streaming video games or reacting to stuff. It's all over Twitter, it's all over YouTube. There's actually a game that's similar to Vampire Survivors called Hollow Cure. That's oh, based yeah, off of that this. one. I know that one. I know. I saw as one played up. So the thing is, we all know that all of these girls are voiced by fifty-year-old fat guys. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true, but the thing is that okay. it's both. They they both speak English and Japanese. So this is not this is not new to uh, people who are well known in the sphere, but it is new to people in the U.S. The people, the normies here. Right, you get a uh, crazy, you know, new nori, um, kind of a you know all solely digital entity online. So that's what we're going to be talking about, and it's pretty crazy. So let's continue. Free from human limitations such as aging, fatigue, and sleep, on September first, twenty twenty three, the Metaverse Avatar entered the music scene with a track called Dominoes, 
and has already garnered more than 60,000 views on YouTube. And the debut is a single collaboration with a 38-year-old German DJ. Is that, is that Ali Farben? Marking the beginning of her artistic journey. In an Instagram post, she says, Music plays a big role in my life since the beginnings. It set me into the mood and nourishes my visions and the ideas to bring them to life as a driving force inside of me. Warner Music is the home of a lot of my favorite music artists. I kind of be more thankful and honored to join such a wonderful family where music tunes are the beat of life. Yep. And basically, these are the two um, avatars that you have over here. Okay. And it's going to be completely digital. And the thing is, they, they're they pushing this pretty hard. It's because of the whole metaverse thing, with the whole um, Facebook thing with um, Mark Zuckerberg. Right. That didn't really pan out. But I'm pretty sure they, they're going to want this moving forward, right? Like, let's say they want all of us to live in pods, get, uh, you know, haptic feedback suits exactly like uh, Ready Player One. You're in VR headset, and you can look like Vociferon the Dragon. <laughs> and you call it your, your, your you know, yeah. your, your, your Z, Zer, Zem uh, pronouns or whatever. But yeah, this is crazy, man. Like if you're going down, like you actually get like, you know, real people. And then they, they put like the digital. Uh, yeah, this is this is getting out of control. Yeah. It's, huh? it's, we're, we're, you, did you guys know the movie Surrogates? The one with Bruce Willis in it? <laughs> we're heading into that. We're heading into that. Uh, it's like. I forgot what you call it, but you can put yourself in a like yeah in like a VR. Then you control uh, an avatar. So at okay. the start of the movie, there was just like this blo hot blonde chick with that avatar, but she she died. But it turns out the real the real person was a fat dude. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's real life, man. Look, yeah, uh, we 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 already have people who are extremely average looking. Okay, I don't want to call them ugly, <laughs> even though they are, but. I've seen, you know, those those girls on like TikTok or Instagram and they're like having a filter on. They're talking, they're actually doing a live thing. But one time the facial, um, you know, like the, the points on the face, it wasn't um, capturing the face 100%. So when the, the person turned her face, the filter turned off. And it, it was work. like an ugly, average Asian looking woman. She looks like she was in her 50s. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then they're like, whoa, what the fuck? But now if it's all AI and you already get coomers who are online, you know, giving like, you know, having a freaking uh, re parasocial relationship with these people already, you're going to have parasocial relationships. Like someone in the chat said that someone in Japan bought a body pillow and married it. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. 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 The degeneracy yeah, is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys should watch sort of gets if that's the case. Like we're we're approaching that age, sadly. It's like because the, the original inventor of that technology in that movie was for it, it was it had good intentions, but yeah, people used it for those purposes. Was it for like, example? It movie, right? Yeah, yeah. It's by okay. I, I know I know Bruce Willis was the main character. Uh but yeah, example, if you're like handicapped, you're like you, you only have one leg, you only have one arm. So you right. can use that avatar to uh to be perfect, right? But yeah, right. people you like yeah, like I said earlier, a fat guy be suddenly became a hot blonde chick by using that like technology. Yeah, we're we're approaching that age. <laughs> we're, we're becoming yeah. that slowly. No, yeah, no, dude. Here. I mean, look, man, and and uh, like when it comes to movies, by the way, uh, I feel just kind of starved in general. There's not a whole lot of like you know awesome, exciting movies that I'm like you know that I've been looking forward to. So if you suggest a good one, then I will check it out. So so thank you for that suggestion. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, yeah, man, uh, like I said, AI and just like, you know, things like this, like online stuff or whatever, uh, it can have a lot of good uses, but it just a lot of stuff can get abused. Um, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with us. Right. You know, we, we we have our own personal responsibility for us, you know, as far as what we use and how we use it and how long we use it and how engaged and in depth we, we go with it. Right. We need to have balance and, and moderation is key. So we it, it's, it's upon ourselves to make sure um, that we go outside and touch grass and that we get to the gym and that we, you know, keep our appreciation for will for, for real life breathing women, um, you know, and, and just people in general to commune with to commune with and not just be uh, perpetually online. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not going to knock developers for pushing the boundaries of technology. Right. You know, I, I want them to explore and then go as far as they can and just keep on pushing those limits as far as technology, because that, that's cool stuff. But 
a lot of it is on us to use thing to use things uh, wisely and to use them um, in in uh, in good wholesome ways, which yeah. isn't yeah. going to happen. But for us, you know, for all you know, for us here, we can make sure that we do things properly. So, I'll just great. Say that. All right, let's continue. Let's see what distinguishes Noon uh, Nori as an artist as is her AI generated singing voice. Although her voice may have been somewhat raspy quality due to the AI manipulation, it demonstrates the advancements in artificial intelligence technology. Her voice was created using generative AI, a technology that takes existing data and transforms it into something entirely new. The process started with a recording of a human singer, which was then modified to give the digital influencer her, her unique vocal identity. It's worth noting that the songwriters, singers, and musicians who contributed to the dominoes will receive royalties and publishing splits similar to conventional music production. Uh, who is she? I see. Uh, New Nori was brought to life by a 43-year-old graphic designer, uh, George Zuber from Munich began her career at the age of 19 and has taken a fashion world by storm with over 20, uh, 200,000 Instagram followers and collaborations with top brands. Zuber introduced a character to the public in late 2017, leading to partnerships with the renowned labels like Marc Jacobs, Dior, and Versace. Uh, she also has been featured in advertising, advertising for Kim Kardashian's makeup line as established connections with supermodels like Naomi Campbell. New Nori's digital present extends beyond music as she is known for promoting <laughs> veganism, sustainable fashion, and opposing <laughs> the use of fur in the fashion industry. Damn. So basically every, she's going to be the ultimate woke. She's basically the infinity gauntlet of woke. She's going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> I have That's a feeling crazy. she's going to cut her hair. She's going to have like blue, purple dyed hair. Oh man. Uh she's got definitely definitely pronouns for sure. Uh and uh oh man, it's gonna be awful, dude. Nice. Yeah. What's what's the, going on? I think man? I think the scary part of it is that it's gonna draw a lot of people. Mm -hmm. More than what what so far the woke has been capable of, given wow. her uh, her aesthetic as an avatar, as an yeah. AI avatar. Yeah. Sheesh. It's gonna be uh very uh, very uh annoying. It's gonna be weird. For uh, uh, is it George Zuber, New Nori represents a lifelong dream rooted in his fascination with the world of fashion, which began when he th bought his first fashion magazine at the age of five. Oh, so this is okay. My okay, my original thought that I thought it was like a female voicing her. So no, this is completely AI, like from from the ground up. I thought it was like okay, you know, I can't live a long life, so uh, I'm a singer, so I'm just gonna make an AI avatar like that. No, this is completely AI generated. This is gonna be crazy. Yeah, this, this, this is this is not even like Hatsune Miko, like Miku kind of status. It's more just yeah, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be super weird. See, he he views fashion as a symbol of freedom, and a uh, new nori embodies that freedom for him. Zuber ch uh chose to create new nori as his avatar character rather than striving for a hyper-realistic look, a decision aimed at highlighting her distinctiveness. Yeah. This is the this is this is weird. This stuff is creepy, by the way. Yeah, it is very, very mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. Very creepy looking too. And um oh that that, that looks like I I I was gonna go to jail really quick. I mean, I really... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and I guarantee you there's already rule 34 of this online. Oh I my guarantee God. you. Oh boy. there's already a R there's already a subreddit. <laughs> R34 <laughs> New Nori. They don't waste no time, bro. No, yeah. they, 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 the internet's quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, she's a digital model, a model and singer who never ages. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, uh I, I don't know, man. Um, it's 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 a little weird for me. Uh, kind kind of scary. Uh, you know, people are gonna do what they do. Uh, I'm not gonna judge. Actually, yeah, I am. Uh, sometimes I will. Do <laughs> no, sorry about that, but um, uh, yeah, man, I I, I don't know, dude. Like, it's it's just kind of it's kind of weird. Yeah, we're yeah we're sinking further into the bottom technology wise. Instead of using it for good, for good things, yeah, we're using it for this. And yeah, Warner Brothers gotta pay that fifty billion dollars in debt somehow. So this is how they're gonna do it. <laughs> oh well, um, I'm. Yes, I, I think 
the fact that we're already coming out with like robots, you know, there's Sophia the robot, you know, that one, that one was a little creepy. You got a bunch of these like robots that are coming from Japan. Elon Musk is making a robot. And then I think sooner or later, it's, we're going to enter the realms of like the Matrix, man. You know, um, AI mm -hmm. is going to try to live amongst us, make robots and stuff like that. And then uh, they're going to harvest us for energy. It, it, <laughs> it, it is what it is. You know, we, we got to shut it down. Like, what's, there's that one time where Google had two of its AI just talk to one another in binary code. I heard about that. And they Within had to shut the day, down. the next day, they started their own language. <laughs> they had to shut that shit down, man, because they didn't yeah. know what they were talking about. <laughs> oh man! But I, like, like Gray said, I think there's we, there's a way for us to work um, together with AI to make things easier for us, right? Things mm -hmm. are automated. You know, when you go to a McDonald's now, there's like one person up there, and there's like a bunch of kiosks. And then you go to some restaurants in like Japan, even some restaurants here, they they there's a robot that brings out a food for you, yeah. right? There's a sushi place called Kura revolving sushi bar here in uh in southern california i'm not sure if it's anywhere else that you sit at your table you press the some buttons and then the conveyor belt just gives you your food you don't need people anymore now it's gonna go into media and you know disney already has an uh, animatronic that actually does stunts yeah. so it's gonna be it's gonna be wild i think uh in the next 10 years ai is gonna significantly be more a part of our lives no not just with uh, chat gbt or lenza but like yeah, stuff like this, more. you know? Yeah, bro. I, and I like, it's, it's just, I don't know, man. Um, I, I think that it's, it's an, it's, it's with the whole moderation thing. Um, you know, it has some good uses, but I think people are going to like take it farther than it ought to go. Um, this stuff should not replace human interaction. I think that human beings are beautiful creatures Right. Um, and, and I think that we need each other. We need to be in fellowship. We need to, you know, be surrounded by each other uh, for different things. And, and, and robots can't replace that. Ro robots and, and AI and, and tech stuff cannot fully, truly replace like the companionship of another human being. And I feel like that's what's happening here, man. I, I don't honestly, man, when I go to a restaurant, I, I like talking to my waiter. Or my waitress like like that human interaction i think is cool and, and and talking to you know different folks around me i think that's dope I, I don't want it to be a bunch of robots man uh things can be more efficient and optimized and 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 uh, automated like you said great but uh you know only to an, to a certain extent like like it, it's going to become a cold world if, if it's just a bunch of like automated kind of stuff um yeah. and, and so and so there, there's a place for it but I just don't like where it's going. I, you know, it, it's hard to be mad at Warner Bros. for, you know, producing something, you know, as, as this kind of AI stuff. But if that's what's going to bring in money, I can't even really be mad at them because they're a business. So they're going to do what attracts customers and, consu and consumers and gets engagement and, and makes them money. So, you know, there's that. But, it, it, you know, the question remains at what cost, right? You, you got all these people and, and they know that people are going to get sucked into this and then get lost in, in the world of technology, get lost in the matrix, get lost in you know, uh, 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 having sex with robots or, or whatever's going to happen, right? Just having the, just full of virtual pornography, you know, all, all, all the crazy stuff that can happen. Like people know that people are going to get sucked in and then, and that's going to be like a, you know, an automatic paycheck all the time because people just get lost in this. Um, yeah. it's, it, it's tough, man. It's hard to see. And, and that's why, like, like I said, we just have to be, we, we got to be aware of this stuff. We, we can't, we can't let ourselves get lost in the matrix. Um, I, I think, I think a lot of this, you know, maybe, it sounds crazy and like maybe it won't get, you know, as bad, you know, maybe in our lifetime, but, you know, it, it might or, or it might, you know, like get very far along that route. And and uh, we just got to stay, stay vigilant, man. Yeah. Gray, have you ever gone go watch a Hatsune Miku, a Miku uh, nah. concert? <laughs> nah, never, never touched it. I was I was never a fan of it. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.